Hi Flosstube, I'm Kenny. Kenny Stitches here on YouTube and Instagram, and this is my channel all about cross stitch. This is my 11th video, and I'm actually on a schedule making my videos, which is something completely uncharacteristic for me. So um, I'm back with my update, first update since the kit and caboodle sow started. Um, we're gonna talk about that first. Um, so I can't speak for Debbie, but I know she's been as excited as I am about seeing everybody who's joined our sow. Um, use hashtag kit and caboodle sow on Instagram, FlossTube, um, Facebook, wherever. Um, we've seen probably hundreds of posts already for the month of July. We're starting a kit every month for a year and um, we've seen several finishes already. Um, we've seen people who haven't, they just dusted off their kit collection, um, pulling kits left and right to start. So um, thank you guys for joining us and um, just the progress so far has been amazing to see. Um, I, I started this Dimensions Gold kit for July, um, Teddy Bear Gathering, it was my unicorn kit. Um, and I did everything, I just used the Ada that came with it. So this is my July progress. Um, I got a, a bear done and started on the quill and a rocking chair. Um, I worked on it off and on all month. I stopped working on it a couple days ago again. Um, so it'll go away for um, probably the rest of the sow and I'll get it back out afterwards. But I love it so far, this little bear, she's so cute. And I was looking at my kits uh, to pick for the rest of the month, um, for next month, and I'm torn between these two. Um, so if you wanna comment below and help me pick which one you like the best, I also have my pull up on my Instagram stories. Um, it's Hyperborea. This is my first pick from Owl Forest. Um, I love this one. Um, I think Right now, this one's winning the poll on Instagram, but that can change very easily. And then I have the Dinosaur Forest. I think I'm leaning more toward this one myself, but I love both, so I'm sure one won't be started too far away from the other. So um, yeah, that's those are my two picks. So comment below which one you think I should start in a couple days for August. I got, we'll go into haul. I got the biggest shipment of project bags from my friend, Julie. She's um, Whip It Up Project Bags on Instagram and Etsy, that's her shop name. Um, and I've been waiting, she's just, I always wait. I tell her just to hold my bags until I get a big shipment. So she did and they, um, she shipped them a month or two ago and they kind of got lost and made their way back to her. And then she shipped them again and I got them a few days later from Canada. But these are the best, my favorite project bags. Um, so I'll show you. This is my, probably my most favorite right now. It's my Steel Magnolias bag. She's got the vinyl front, the quilting. Um, there's her little logo. And then this is the back. This is my most favorite bag right now. <laughs> and they hold um, her common size. This is a, I think 14 by 14 bag and it holds an 11 by 11 Q snap, but um, she makes ones for uh, 11 by 17s and eight by eights. So um, this was what I think she called a birthday bag from last year. It's Stitch, he's one of my favorite characters. Um, so that tells you how long, because my birthday's in actually a week from tomorrow. So um, tells you how long she's been holding my bags. This is my Alice in Wonderland bag. She used this Tula, I think it's a Tula pink. And then this is the back. This is one of my Christmas bags, Buddy the Elf. little 4th of July patriotic bag. 
This one is so pretty. Um, I think once I start back on it, I think Sweet Maple from Meridian Designs will live in here. Um, this was a Christmas, I think this was the December bag last year. And then she pieced together this cute Christmas tree on the back. This was the Valentine's Day bag this year. Little love letters. Another bag of the month bag. This one's got a handle. You can get them with or without handles. These owls are super cute. I love the back. Again, it's got a handle on it for carrying. Unicorn Forest. I love the feathers inside. Sorry for the glare on the vinyl. These bags are just, they're very well made. They hold up really well. Um, they've got padding and quilting and they're just the best. This is, um, I, I think this was a bag of the month or I just special ordered it, I don't know. But that coral reef's kind of metallic. It's hard to pick up, but the gold is metallic-y. Um, I got Fabric of the Month from Sparklies. This is the June Fabric of the Month. And it doesn't look like much, but it's a 46 count. It's a really pretty soft, really soft, light gray. Um, it'd be perfect for a sampler of some kind. Long dog, maybe. <laughs> and then, this is my May fabric of the month. Really bold, but really pretty. It's a 46 count linen as well. That's pretty true to color right there, guys. It's, it's just awesome. I got my fabric of the month from Under the Sea Fabrics. I don't remember what month it was, but I, I just had her sub this color. It's one of my favorites of hers. It's Winterbrook. And this is an opal Belfast. Really pretty green blue color. And then last month I joined um, Fiberlicious Fabric of the Month and got my first one of those in the mail. This is her July fabric. It's called Summer Soiree. Really pretty pink with some green in it. It's a 32 count linen. Um, I'm wondering if the Joan Elliott Spring Geisha might go on it, maybe? At least in my head, that's my plan. I got the Bee Gnome Little Mill Hill Kit. So we went into my kit bag for the kit and caboodle. Then I got Rocking Reindeer, another cute little Christmas ornament. I got the Barn Owl from Garon Citry. I love this one. It's one of my favorites in the series so far. And then with that from Garon, I got Aquila, Aquila, the Queen of the Skies. And I did start her. I'll show her in a little bit. Um, when I saw this one, I had to have her and I knew I would start her immediately. I just love her so much. Um, one, two, three was having their Christmas in July sale. I got Lizzie Kate um, sampler claws. And I got, I hadn't heard of this designer, but I saw this design and I thought it was really cute. Um, it's Woodland Holiday Sampler by Artful, Artful Offerings. Sorry for the glare. And then when I found that one, I found this one too, the Rocking Horse Holiday. Really pretty. And they couldn't travel alone, so I got 
the seasonal collection Halloween candy shell. I think I have, I have so many of these shells. I started the other Halloween one last year and maybe put a hundred stitches into it, but I got this one too. Um, the Heart and Hand Doodles Halloween. I've seen a lot of people stitching it on Instagram. It's super cute. I got the Hydrangea Fairy from Joan Elliott. I love Joan's designs. I got this one and then, um, I don't know where it's at, but I got the, I think I showed her in my, one of my last videos, the Peony Pixie. Um, I wanna start both of those. And then Happy Halloween. Um, I got this off one, two, three as well. It came with that Christmas in July order. I pulled this out to look at it the other day and the the stitching is insane in it. The color changes, the, the back stitch, everything is just, I mean, it's gonna be amazing when it's done, but it's kind of intimidating for a little eight page chart. <laughs> I got the new Miss Spider from Nora Corbett. My friend Leah stitched the model and I just, I love everything about it. I think I'm going to stitch her on a 40 count and there's only two bead colors so I'm gonna swap them for some delicates I think and just have her on a little 40 count piece. I ordered from Sandra's Stitch Stash. If you guys haven't heard of that, it's a great, she's. The website's really great. She has sales every weekend. I think this weekend she's got 20 or 25% off all her Twin Peak Primitive charts in stock. Um, so yeah, if you sign up for her mailing list, she signs, she sends emails every weekend about a weekend sale or whatever, like they have kits um, sometimes for like 20 to 30% off. So definitely enabling, but um, I ordered the Luna Ma from Nora Corbett and her bead pack and the specialty thread, this water lilies here. And then these beads go with um, June Bug, which I also ordered. I saw um, somebody on Facebook, um, a friend of mine, she was stitching it and she finished it on this really pretty like jade blue turquoise. And it, she turned out really pretty on that. Those greens really popped on that. I think I might go in that same kind of color direction, so. And then from Sandra, I also got, cause she had kits, I think were 30 or 40% off. Um, I'd seen this chart years ago or this kit years ago and I kind of forgot about it, but um, she had it. And so um, I don't even know winter something it's a Russian kit. I don't even remember what she called it, but so much white, but she's so pretty. It, I mean, it's packaged really well. Look at all that white. Um, I don't know when I'll start it or if she'll make it into the kit caboodle style, but I didn't want to pass it up. So it now is here and lives with me. So, my other two whips between the kit and Caboodle Sal, um, I picked up the Shores of Hawk Run Hollow. Um, so I, all this month, I did all this water over like, I think 1400 stitches of water. Um, I finished the, I started the rocks here. The sun has been done this month um, and filling in the, the L here. So really I just have to finish that L and finish the rocks and the little seagull right here and this first block will be done. It'll be my first Hawk Run Hollow block finish ever. Um, and I'll probably, I mean, I've been really focused on it the last week or so. So I wanna try maybe finish it in the next couple days before I start my next kit. Um, and then I'll probably work on it off and on. Um, in August when I kind of get tired of whatever kit I pick. So um, I'd like to finish the next block. It's not as much stitching, I don't think. Um, it's a jellyfish um, and a couple other sea animals. So I'd like to finish that block in August too. 
And then my other whip um, was the Aquila that you guys saw, the Bella Filipina. I started her and I got, I mean, I got a decent amount done. It's probably, I don't know, five days of stitching. This bright yellow right here, I have to rip it out. I skipped a row and now it's off. So that's why I put it down, quit stitching on it. Um, the fabric, it's a discontinued dyer. It's, um, it's called Persephone. It's a 32 count linen from Dye Stitch Love. Um, so that fabric's no longer available, but I thought it would be perfect for this design here. So that's where she's at. I'll get all that unpicked and probably, probably keep going on her um, sometime next month for a couple days. But yeah, so I think tomorrow's the 30 or tomorrow's the 31st. So I've got one day left before the kit and caboodle August starts. And again, my choices, the dinosaur forest or hy hyperbo hyperborea. I don't know, I can't decide, but comment below which one you guys think I should start. Um, and I will be back next month with another update. If you guys want to join the Sal, you can join whenever you want. If you didn't do this month, that's okay. I mean, just pick a kit and join us. I mean, any kit you want could be something small like this, could be a, you know, a Dimensions Gold, any kind of kit you want. Just um, use that hashtag kit and caboodle Sal on Instagram or here on FlossTube. I'll put it in the comments below. Um, I'll link Julie's shop in the comments below and I'll link um, the shops where I ordered some of my haul from, so you guys have those links as well. Um, I can't wait to see everybody's progress next month um, for the kit and caboodle sale. I can't wait to see the kits everybody picks. Really looking forward to that, so um, make sure you use that hashtag, and I will see you guys next month. Thanks for watching, bye.